Today on our 2013 Ford Edge, we'll be test fitting the Swagman XTC4 platform style hitch mounted 4 bike rack, part number S64665. We'll begin our test fit by sliding the shank of the bike rack into the opening of the hitch. We'll thread in our anti-rattle bolts and tighten it down using a wrench. With the bike rack secured, we'll go over some clearance measurements to see how the two fit together. We have about 11 inches of ground clearance. Now as you can see, the platform, when folded up, does have a little bit of wiggle room. With this being said, the platform does have the ability to hit the rear bumper of the vehicle. Therefore, I would use caution when carrying the bike rack in this position. Now depending on the distance from the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper, this may not be a factor. We've added about 7 inches to the overall length of our Ford. We can now remove the silver pin at the base of the bike rack and tilt the platform down. With the platform down, you can see that we can easily access the rear hatch. With the platform down, we have about 18 inches of ground clearance. Closest part of the bike rack to the closest part of the vehicle is about 11 inches, and we've added about 40 inches to the overall length of our edge. To load up a bike, we'll remove the silver pin at the base of the mast, we'll put the frame hooks to the top of the mast, and we'll undo the tray straps. We'll place our bike into the wheel trays, bringing the frame hook down and clamping it tightly against the frame, securing the front and rear tire with the rubber straps. With our bike all loaded up, that'll complete today's test fit for the Swagman XTC4, part number S64665, on our 2013 Ford Edge.